Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. But before I do that, last, last, uh, last week I made the... I was given uh, an advice to former president, uh, president of Zambia, President Edgar Lungu. I, I was giving him a very good advice. And his cadres, his members are, are all over. See, one is a betrayer. See, one has taken money from UPND. Now he wants to fight Edgar Lungu. See, one is fighting Edgar Lungu. See, one does not like Edgar Lungu. See, one because UPND gave him money. That's why he's fighting Edgar Lungu. Look, when, as in, in my level, at my level, I don't fight something that does not have life. At my level, I cannot fight an opposition party in Zambia or anywhere in Nigeria. It's just like here where we are, uh, uh, um, uh, Labour Party loses election, then I start fighting them. What am I fighting them for? Then it's not a fight. It makes me a coward. If I start fighting Edgar Lungu today, uh, we have fought already. I defeated him. So when he was a president, when he had so much power, we fought. I defeated him. So why must I rise again and fight him today? It makes me a coward. I don't fight opposition. I don't fight uh, people who are not in power. I fight the government. If there must be a fight that will happen again between me and the government of Zambia, it's the UPN government. It's the party that is in government. So that when I win, I have, you know, people will respect me. People will say, ah, he fought, a, he fought with the government and he won the government. I cannot rise up and start fighting a battle that I won already. I'm not, I, I, I'm not fighting Edgar Lungu. I didn't fight Edgar Lungu. I only fight government. Government that is in power. That is what I fight. Because I'm C1. I'm done of power. I'm not a coward. I'm not like uh, that other guy that uh, inherited things from his father that is fighting the opposition. No, I fight the ruling party. You know, I, I when I'm fighting with you and they win you, why must I continue fighting? That advice that I gave to Edgar Lungu was an advice that came from a brother, was an advice that came from a man that mean well for the people. President Akayinde Echilema cannot function well if he doesn't have a strong opposition. The UPND government cannot wake up and do the right thing if they don't have opposition. What is the work of opposition? Opposition brings in check and balances. Why giving the check and balances? There is pressure that is coming from them going to the government. If government is sleeping, because of that pressure, they wake up and start doing the right thing. So I've looked at it. The opposition in Zambia is not strong enough to fight the government. How are they going to come up and become strong enough to fight the government? Number one, they must come together as one so that they can give a proper check and balances to the government, so that they can fight the government. PF alone cannot do it as it is now. If it was then when, uh, when uh, PF was still together before Edgar Lungu destroyed it with greediness. If they went for a convention and elected a leader and said, this is our leader, by now, UPND was going to be in fire because PF had people. Anyway, they still have people on the ground. They still have a lot and a lot of people on the ground. They, were, they are just a party without a leader. So if that election, that if that conference went on, 
and they elected a leader as PF, they were going to proceed. And they were really going to destroy UPND. I'm telling you the gospel truth. I myself was even afraid. Because PF was not dying. It is the first time in the history of Zambia where a party loses power and their leaders are not joining the ruling party. They were intact. They, up to now, they are still intact. They are not going to the ruling party. They are not even going to any other party. They are still intact. It means if they had a leader, they were going to come back. Somebody say, Mao Sampa, please don't mention that idiot. That guy is not, is nothing. He's a mad person. He's even a mad person who will look at Mao Sampa and say, I will support this person. Who are you supporting? You are supporting a lunatic. Somebody that doesn't even know his left and right. So how is it? Let's not, let me tell you this. Zambia is a country. And if you look at the current president of Zambia, Tudaka in the Echelema, he's, he's, a, he's a wise man because, you know, he acquired a lot of wealth. And his life and the way he does things, you can see that there is a standard. He can be the president. When you look at Edgar Lungu, Edgar Lungu was a lawyer. Even if he was deceived by criminals, he was deceived by so many people. Edgar Lungu was a wise man. You know, he, he was wise. It's just that he came in, power overshadowed him. And because power corrupt, he became corrupt and is fallen. If you look at the next person uh, and other people that are coming, bring them, Brian Mundibile, uh, uh, Dr. Fred Membe. You can see that these guys are wise. And, and most of these guys that want, that are now competing, they want to take over power. You can see that these guys are wise. But compare them to Mao Sampa. Mao Sampa is a lunatic, a mad person. I still have not restored him. I'm telling you the, the gospel truth. That guy, his brain is still not okay. I've not restored him. So if you, if you think that a madman will lead you, a madman, we, where is he leading you to? <laughs> that guy cannot even go to Copper Bell to go and demobilize the, the, the party that he stole. He can't go. He can't even come out in Matera and hold a rally. So how, how, how do you trust a lunatic? So don't mention that guy on my post. That guy is not a human being. I'm talking about important thing. And this is being a president. It's a serious issue. You can't carry a whole presidency and give the mad person. What is Mao Sampa going to? What what does he know? His uncle, who was President Michael Sata, when he was in power, didn't even make him a minister. Because Sata knew that he was a madman. He didn't make him a minister. He made him a deputy minister. Deputy minister is like a vice president. These guys are just there to say, yes, sir. Yes, ma. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so clap your hand for the president. That's what they do. They don't have power. They don't have authority. They don't even. They don't have decision making. So Sata took Mao Sampa, his own, his own brother, his own nephew, his own blood. He took him and reduced him to a deputy minister. Then uh, uh, Zambia, as a country, want to carry the lunatic and make him a president. So it's not possible. So remove that guy. PF has died with Mao Sampa. PF is not coming back. Mao Sampa has killed PF. So the advice I was giving Eddie Galungu is that I was scolding him. And I was telling him, form an alliance. Come together. When you come together, you have power to challenge UPND. If you don't challenge UPND, the government is going to go to sleep. And when the government go to sleep, there is no one challenging them. Who suffer? The citizens suffer. So that's why I was saying form alliance. And I'm happy because he has heard the advice. You know, I'm happy because he has understood what I'm talking about. But people who do not understand anything, they will everywhere fight. Ah, see, a one has been paid by UPND to attack Edgar Lungu. See, a one has been paid by UPND to, to destroy Edgar Lungu. I have destroyed Edgar Lungu already. We fought complete two years running battle. I defeated him. So why must I continue fighting him? I'm not Simon that fight. I'm not a coward. If there must be a fight that will take place anytime, 
it must be between me and the UPND, not Edgar Alungu, not the opposition. So having said that, I'm glad that they have learned and they are coming together. And when they come together, like I told you in 2025, that is when we are, all of us are going to see politics. That is when all of us are going to see our true colors. So those of you that were attacking me, calling me bad name, accusing me of stealing money from UPND, I explained, getting money from UPND and keeping quiet, I explained to you the reason why I didn't proceed with the life. I explained to you the reason why I did not uh, uh, pro proceed with the life. So I believe that you understand me. It's not because I was bribed. No one has the power. No one has the capacity to bribe me because I say the truth. Even in the ministry, the way I do my preaching, even in the ministry, the way I do my work, even in Christianity, in in in, in this religion where we find ourselves, you can see, you can see that. I don't fear anybody. I say what I want to say so long as it is right. I say it. So if I don't fear people, why must I come and start... Uh, uh, um, if I don't fear to say the truth in church, why must I come and fear to say the truth because of politics? So it was a friendly advice that I gave. And to me, I'm happy when I saw the, pre the, the press briefing that they had, the alliance. Now, they need to now go and start talking to Dr. Fred Membe, Harry Kalaba, uh, Haivi Hamdudu, and others. They must come together and unite. In 2025, they bring out a candidate that will challenge a church. That is when politics will begin. Understand what I'm talking about? That's when politics will begin. And, uh, uh, and for those of you in UPND, that have gone to bed and are sleeping right now. I don't have a word for you, but time is coming and that time is going to be too late. All I'm telling you is that wake up. Wake up. Your enemy is not PF. Please push Mao Sampa away. Push that guy away. Don't give him attention. Don't give him resources. That guy, if, even if PF was to come and contest election today alone, they would not win. Leave Mao Sampa. Mao Sampa is distracting you, UPND, from doing the right thing. The challenge you are going to have in the election in 2026 is not PF. That you must know. It's not PF. The challenge that you are going to have in 2026 is the alliance. If there is anything you have to do right now is to wake up and start doing the right thing. Is to wake up and rebuild the economy. Is to wake up and feed people. Make sure that you have eradicated hunger. Make sure that you have reduced the price of fuel. Make sure that you have reduced... It's even better you remove free education and reduce the price of fuel. I don't want to go deeper on this. Time is coming for this, not now. But I am telling you, wake up. If you don't know, if you don't know, let me tell you something that you don't know. Between Edgar Lungu and Dr. Fred Membe, who must you be scared of? It's not Edgar Lungu. Edgar Lungu. Is now he will be a political godfather. If he if he doesn't want to listen to me, he say he won't appear on the ballot. I will tell you that he will not appear on the ballot. If he accept to become a political godfather, that is danger to UPN. Edgar Lungo still has following. Millions of following. People are still listening to him. If you permit me today, or if you want to argue with me. Permitted the Galungu to hold a rally without a political party. Tell him to hold a rally at Mandevu. Tell him to fill up a, a Hero Stadium. I swear, he will do it. The guy has following, but he will not stand. Anybody he support will have that following. That is why you, PND, you must wake up. Not just waking up. Wake up and take care of your members. Currently, you don't have people that will campaign for you. 
Maybe you don't know. Let me also help you. I think it, you, by you watching this clip, you can learn one or two things. UPND, you don't have people that will campaign for you. Your ministers are not in touch with the people. Not just the people that voted for them. They are not in touch with their members. I said it, I was fighting that time. So the moment they were elected and President HH appointed them, immediately they changed their numbers. They disconnected themselves from their friends. They disconnected themselves from the people that sponsored the party. They disconnected themselves from people that campaigned for HH. I know thousands of youths. If, if I open my WhatsApp, you see, you will cry. I know thousands of youths that sacrificed their life to give a church protection when PF wanted to kill him. All of them are still crying to me today. All of them are still waiting for direction today. If you do not go back to these people and take care of them, in 2026, it will be very difficult for you to go through. You should be scared, not for PF, not for Eddie Galungu. You should be worried about Dr. Fred member. That guy, let me give you an example of what is happening. You see a rat. When a rat enters in a bag of rice or in a bag of beans, and go inside that bag of rice and go inside that bag of beans and start eating it from there. You will not know. The owner of the rice is going to think to say, ah, everything is okay. The rat is eating the beans inside. You, you are not aware. The owner will say, oh, my, my bag of beans is intact. My bag of rice is intact. The owner will not even care. The owner will not bother. But time will come when it's too late. When the half of the beans would have been eaten. That is when you wake up. This is what Dr. Fred Member is doing right now in Zambia. Dr. Fred Member is eating UPND. Like a rat inside a bag of beans. Almost all the people that are aggrieved are running to him. You, will, you may not see this now, but next year you will see what I'm talking about. It will be a revolution. The, I'm telling you PND people to say, wake up. When you see things going wrong like this, I see people now saying what is happening in Zambia, the petrol fuel in, uh, price in Zambia is the same as Zimbabwe, it's the same as Dubai, it's the same as London, it's the same. These are the things that we campaigned against. We fought, I remember when Chishin Bakamburi said it was it's global. We fought against that. We, we stood against that. Why is UPND using the same narrative? HH, you maybe you, you you are not aware. Most of the people that you have employed, most of the people that you have given position, most of the people that you have been you have appointed do not love you. And they don't want you to continue. And they are deceiving you. They're telling you that there is no opposition party that will unseat you in 2026. I want to let you know that they are lying and they are cheating. Tell them to go back and they take care of, number one, the party structure. Number two, the people that voted for them. There are some of your MPs from the day they were sworn in the parliament, they have never visited their constituencies. There are, this is the first time in the history of Zambia where ministers are very unpopular. You can, you, if you can ask yourself, who is the minister of this? Who is the minister of that? Only few ministers are known. Others are hiding. You can even, when PF was in power, when they say the minister of this, oh, you know. The minister of this, oh, you know. The minister of this, oh, you know. Because they were everywhere. They were talking to the people. They were meeting the people. Your own people, the people that you employed, once you gave them an appointment, they changed their phone number and they started hiding. 
You, they started hiding. They don't want to have anything to do with the people. They don't even want to meet the people. When they are members, their friends visit them at the office. They are hiding. Why are you hiding? So I want you to look at this. To me, personally, I don't want you to cry. Because I know what it took us to put you there. But the people that you have given job are doing everything possible to make you cry. If the alliance succeeds in 2025 and they do the right thing, they are going to remove you. I don't want that to happen. But by the grace of God, I pray that your people wake up. So this is not why I came here today. I came here for another thing. I was just clearing the air. The people that... Um, the people that were saying all sorts of evil things about me, attacking me. I know I don't have problem with anybody in, in Zambia anymore, from the ruling party to the opposition. I don't have problem with anybody. I, I was just giving a friendly advice for the betterment of the government and for the betterment of the opposition. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.